Today, we'll be brake testing bricks. The bricks we're testing are leftovers from different projects. We thought it'd be interesting to test their strength. Before we begin, let's talk about the two main types of bricks we're testing, clay bricks and cement bricks. Clay bricks are highly durable and resistant to weathering, thanks to their dense structure created through high temperature firing. However, they're more expensive to produce. Cement bricks, on the other hand, are cost-effective and faster to produce. But their strength depends heavily on the mix ratio and curing process, which can sometimes lead to weaknesses. Theoretically, a clay brick should not break as easily as a cement brick because of its denser and more compact structure. Now, let's see how these leftover bricks perform under stress. The breaking test begins. We strike the two bricks together repeatedly. And eventually, the clay brick breaks under pressure. So, why did the clay brick break? It could be due to poor firing during production, leaving it weaker than expected. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And here's the winner from this round, the cement brick. Still intact, it demonstrates impressive resilience. The use of river sand and proper cement ratios likely contributed to its durability. Second test. For the second round, we bring in another clay brick from a different leftover batch. It looks solid and ready to compete. The breaking test resumes, and after repeated strikes, the second clay brick fails. Now, why did this clay brick fail? Could be the same reason as the first one, or it may have structural inconsistencies from production, such as uneven density or air pockets. Years of exposure might have also made it more brittle. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments. Next, we test an older cement brick that was left over from a house extension. It has been sitting around for years and looks more worn and inconsistent. In this round, the older cement brick faces off against the winning cement brick from the previous tests. Surprisingly, the older cement brick does not break. This suggests that despite its appearance, the quality of its mix and curing process was superior. What do you think about this result? Share your thoughts below. Now we move to the fourth test. Here, the older cement brick faces a new challenger cement brick. The breaking test begins, and we strike the two bricks repeatedly. Both bricks hold strong for a while, but eventually, the older cement brick finally gives in and breaks. Why did the older brick break? It's likely due to the stress it accumulated over multiple tests, weakening it over time. Additionally, its older structure may not have the same strength as the fresh mix of the Challenger brick. What do you think? Was it the repeated stress or something else? Let us know in the comments. As we've run out of stock bricks, our final test will use an interlocking paving brick as the Challenger. This paving brick, made with crusher sand, is designed for durability under heavy loads and rough conditions. Facing off against the winner of the fourth test, the breaking test begins. Repeated strikes are applied, but surprisingly, neither of the two bricks breaks. Not only do they remain intact, but both bricks show no signs of cracking or damage. They're as perfect as they were before the test started. This brings us to the end of our brake testing video. If there's one thing we've learned today, it's the importance of using high-quality building products, whether you're building, buying, or selling. It's not just about selling bricks, it's about standing behind what you offer and being proud of the products you put into the world. Quality matters because, at the end of the day, your reputation is built on the strength of what you provide. Thank you for watching.